Uh, now we move on to the order of public comment. This is where we invite members of the public to come and share their thoughts with us because we're an open and transparent body. And our rules provide that individual remarks shall not exceed three minutes, and the total time for all public comment shall not exceed 30 minutes. So with that, the first person seeking recognition for public comment is a candidate for office, uh, Mr. Waller. Candidate Waller. Good morning. Uh, my name is Raleigh Waller. I am a candidate for the DuPage County Board, as are the majority of the people before me. Um, you probably all heard by now that I filed a complaint with the Illinois Office of the Executive Inspector General regarding the state appointments of Don Pachowski as DuPage Public Guardian and Public Administrator. The Illinois Public Officer Prohibited Activities Act bans county board members from holding other elected and appointed positions. Teams of esteemed lawyers are now scrutinizing the complexity of this, of this statement. No member of a county board during the term of office for which he or she is elected may be appointed to accept or hold any office. This isn't complicated. This is crystal clear. At first, I thought it was a conflict of interest for Mr. Pachowski to serve on the county board as he votes for funding for the circuit court, which in turn determines his estate fees. Today, I'm here to talk about yet another conflict of interest. Mr. Pachowski stated, and I quote, the public guardian is not an employee of the county. I receive no salary, and my office is not in any way funded by the county or managed by the county board. Okay, then why is the state's attorney's office defending Mr. Pachowski and his law firm associate in an ongoing probate case in the circuit court? Furthermore, our state's attorney's office is keenly aware that Mr. Pachowski votes to approve funding for the law enforcer's office. If any agency should be aware of the Prohibited Activities Act, it should be this office. I urge the county board to review this conflict of interest and misuse of tax dollars and to take appropriate action. Thank you. Um, with leave of the body, given the nature of these remarks and because of things, campaign, political antics, uh, Mr. Pachowski is recognized for response. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My opponent is intentionally incorrect. I was appointed August of 2012 by Governor Pat Quinn. At that time, this appointment was addressed and brought up, and there is no conflict. That was approved by a Senate, which has the same thing. Legal counsel has already reviewed this, and it's been determined to be not a conflict. It's compatible. I ran in 2012, and it was not an issue. And again, there are no public sector monies with public guardian. My only public income is what I receive from the county board. The Daily Herald endorsement session, my opponent brought this up. It was addressed and dismissed, and I was endorsed by the Daily Herald. Instead of talking about mudslinging, I think he should be talking about O'Hare noise. We should be talking about a balanced budget. We should be talking about the water issue in White Pines. So it's easy to throw issues out. There is no violation. It's already been resolved. It's four years ago. So I'd rather make it an issue-oriented and a positive campaign rather than mudslinging. Thank you.